Concept of a group Oh no, Starry! Your room is in such a mess! Look! Your books, teddy bears, cars, dolls are all scattered on the ground. We need to arrange all these things properly. Here, take this basket. Keep all your toys in it. Good! Now, these books need to be kept neatly. Keep them on the shelf, Starry. Very good! Now the floor looks clean. Hey! But look at the table. There are crayons and pencils all over the table. Let's keep the pencils in this pencil holder. Hmm, that's good. Now, Keep the crayons in that box. Great job, Starry! Look at your clean and neatly arranged room. Starry, did you realize something? You have just made groups. A group of toys, group of books, a group of crayons and a group of pencils. A group is a collection. If you look around you, we can make groups of many types using a common shape, color, size or use. Let us do something interesting. Here are some fruits and vegetables on the table. There are carrots, apples, brinjals, bananas, spinach and a bunch of grapes. Let us arrange the fruits in this fruit basket. Now we will put the vegetables in the vegetable tray. Keeping the fruits and vegetables properly makes it easy to get them when we need them. Look at this fruit cellar. The apples, oranges, bananas and watermelons are kept in separate groups. This vegetable vendor 
has also neatly arranged the various vegetables according to their type. Hey, look at these groups of children. They are wearing blue caps, red caps, green caps and yellow caps. All of them are standing in separate lines. So, these are groups according to color. Hmm. Let's go to this sweet shop. There are some tasty cakes, biscuits and pastries arranged in different groups according to their taste. This uncle has some kites in his shop. He has kept the kites according to their size and shape. So Starry, I'm sure it was fun learning how to make groups.